Lesson 3.9 Use Equations to Represent Problems Addition and subtraction number sentences are called equations. Equations have an equal sign and they show the parts and the whole of a problem. So for addition, the add-ins would be the parts and the sum would be the whole. For subtraction, the minuend would be the whole and the subtrahenin difference would be the parts. An equation can be used to show a problem. There were some male and three female kittens in the litter. So we have some male, we don't know how many, and three female kittens in a litter. There were seven in all, so that's our sum, how many were male? So we use this square to take the place of the missing add end. This is the note to the adults. By using the square as the missing add end prepares the student to use variables to take the place of an unknown amount. So it's very important to use the square in this lesson. It's telling us to write an equation for the problem. We use a square for the missing number, then solve. It's telling us there were 11 cookies on a plate, five were eaten. How many cookies were left on the plate? There were 11 cookies on the plate. We're gonna take away the five that were eaten and it's gonna equal the difference, the number of cookies that were left. We need to figure out 11 minus five. We can think of a related addition sentence, five plus some number is equal to 11. Do you know what that could be? If you said six, you're right. How many cookies were left on the plate? Six cookies. The square represents six, it's equal to six, so there were six cookies left on the plate. There were six finches and four sparrows at the bird feeder. How many birds were at the bird feeder? We can add the six finches and the four sparrows. It's equal to an unknown amount, so we use our square. We add six plus four. Do you know six plus four? If you said 10, you're right. This square represents 10. There were 10 birds at the bird feeder. 14 children were at the park. Some children went home. Then there were nine children at the park. How many children went home? We have 14 children at the park, and then some unknown number went home. Then there were nine at the park. And we can use related addition or count on to solve. Nine plus some number is equal to 14. We can start at 9 and count on. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 5. That means 5 children went home. There were some people singing. 6 people joined them. Then there were 14 people singing. How many people were there at first? So be very careful, it's asking how many were there at first. So we know there were some people, we don't know the number, and then six joined them. So we have some people plus six more, and it equals 14 people singing. Something plus six is equal to 14. Do you know what that is? We can use related subtraction to solve it. 14 minus 6 is equal to some number. We could also use counters. We can make 14 counters, and we can take 6 of them away by crossing them out. We cross off 4, 5, 6. That's going to leave 5, 6, 7, 8. That means there were 8 people there at first. The square represents the number 8. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. At a dog park, 
four dogs are chasing a ball, three dogs are drinking water, and five dogs are resting in the shade of a tree. How many dogs are at the dog park? And we think we can add the number of dogs to find a total. We have three add-ends, four chasing a ball, plus three drinking water, plus five resting in the shade of the tree. We have four counters for the dogs chasing a ball, three counters for the dogs drinking water, and five counters for the dogs resting in the tree. And we can count them. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four plus three plus five is equal to twelve. That means there are twelve dogs at the dog park. Suppose six more dogs arrive at the dog park and join the dogs chasing a ball. How many more dogs are chasing a ball than not chasing a ball? So we think we can use the information we know to solve the problem. From before, we knew that there were four chasing a ball, three drinking water, and five resting. Now, six more are chasing the ball. We can add the four chasing a ball plus the six more that's equal to 10 chasing a ball. There were three drinking water and five resting. These are not chasing a ball. Three plus five is equal to eight. So we have 10 chasing the ball and eight not chasing the ball. And we're comparing 10 and eight to find the difference. There are 10 chasing a ball and eight not chasing a ball. To find the difference, we use subtraction. 10 will be our minuend and 8 will be our subtrahend. 10 minus 8 is equal to, do you know? If you said 2, you're right. 8, 9, 10. We compared the two amounts to find the difference. So remember, you can use a related addition or subtraction equation to help you solve this, or you could use counters and find out what the square is equal to. In our next lesson, 3.10, we're gonna do some word problem solving with equal groups. You have a really great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.